still talking about variables now let's go back to our variable uh, our first example when we talked about variables initially and we used the cup as an example i'm going to uncomment this so that we can work with this again let's run this code and i expect to see water and sand um yeah so i see my water and sand I wonder why this is having this here. unnecessary semicolon. Where? Oh, right. Uh, again, I forget that I don't need to do that. Okay, so I have my water and sand. Now imagine, like we have said earlier, this is just a single uh, container that can hold a single value at a time. Now it is also possible to hold multiple values in a single container. So, like the analogy we've been using, a cup. Now imagine a crate for eggs like that crate that we store eggs in it you know a crate has some spaces for individual egg uh, egg to sit in now imagine that kind of crate and i have different types of circular object that I can put in that crate so if each of the holes in the crate is a cup that means it is possible to have multiple um items stored in a single crate at a time sense but let me try to show you what i mean now now imagine i have the crate i think that's a spelling but i mean that doesn't really matter my crate has several uh, spaces for different objects in it remember my cup can only hold one object at a time my crate can hold multiple objects at a time and my cup can hold a single type of object single type of data like we have already talked about data um, types. So a single type of data per time, while my crate can hold multiple data types per time. Now this in Python is called a list. For most programming languages, it is called an array. Oh, I mean some, I, I mean array, a lot of people called, uh, call it array. But in, in Python, it is called a list. So a list is a variable that can hold multiple values at the same time and those values can be of different data types. Now I need you to understand that this is just an example. It is not how to create a list, but let's just use this as, as an example. Now in the first space, I can have sand. In my second space, I can have water. In my third space, I can have a number. Here I can have uh, an int, a, a decimal, and here I can have a boolean. So this is a list. And it contains different types of objects at the same time. Now, this is obviously not how to create a list. In Python, to create a list, what I would do is to just take this out. I'm going to clean it out and show you what I have left. Um, so you, you don't get confused with my initial analogy. And do, this is now a proper list in Python. So let's try to print this out and see what we get. So print out, create, save it. I'm going to comment this out so it's easy for me to see what I want to see and just run the code. And nothing is printed out. I don't know why, but let me show you what just happened. So let's say I want to select the first item in this crate. I can do item at the first point. And I see sand printed. Now, let me just explain what this means. In programming, in most programming languages, I've never, I've, I mean, I've not encountered any programming language that doesn't follow what I'm about to say. So in most programming languages, a list or an array starts counting from zero. So it's the first item is zero. The second item is one. The next item is two. The next one is three and so on. So, which is why when I wanted to select my first item here, I, I did the name of the variable, which is the create, and then the zero, which is the index, that is called the index of this item that I wanted to print out. So, the index of the next item now is one. So, if I wanted to print the next item, I would uh, run the code. And as you can see, I get water printed out. So I think that is easy enough. Um, you can you can add more values to this crate 
So I, it's quite easy and we're still going to be doing a lot of that. So I can do append, um, append, say I want to add a name to that crate. And initially we have zero, one, two, three, four items in this crate. So let's come here and print the fifth item and see what we get. So I'll run this code and I get Mike. And that is because I have added a new item to this particular list here. So imagine I, I try to print the fifth item before I added it. I'm, I, I expect to get an error. So um, just so you know. So run that and I get an error and it says on line 16 and it says list index out of range which means there is no item, um, the list is not as big as uh, to have item five in it. So you get the point. There are several things you can do with a list, but the easiest is adding a new item to a list.